Hi everyone! Hi there! My name is Kathy, and today I want to talk to you about my personal experience of studying abroad and having English as a second language and how it can really have a direct impact on your mental health on a daily basis. Right, so let's get straight into it. Um, I actually want to start it off by asking you a few questions. Have you ever had a classmate whose first language was not English, who was so silent in class that they almost became invisible? Have you ever noticed that one international transfer student who always sat in the corner by themselves while everyone else was in their element busy socialising and chatting away? I'm pretty sure most of you will say yes to these questions, or, or at least some of you. Now, you might have thought that that person was somewhat unsociable or even quirky and eccentric in a way, but today I want to offer you an alternative way of viewing this. As much as they appear to be uncommunicative, it's not necessarily the case that they're naturally solitary or withdrawn, it's more likely that they are actually having an internal battle over how to approach people, over how to initiate conversations, because they are extremely self-conscious of the fact that the language barrier might prevent them from effective communication. And I know this perfectly well, because I used to be that very person would rush past people with downcast eyes just to avoid conversations and eye contact and I would do everything possible just to escape and withdraw from social life. Even up until now I still struggle with the same problem. When it comes to speaking English, sometimes my body would freeze, I'd blush furiously and the words I'm hoping would fall effortlessly from my mouth and get lost in transit and nothing would come out. We all know the feeling of not being able to put our thoughts into words. It's only that this feeling becomes immeasurably stronger when it comes to speaking a foreign language. Sometimes my brain isn't as brave as I want it to be and there is always this little voice in my head reiterating that I'm not qualified to join in a conversation due to the fact that English isn't my first language. I carry this fear of being perceived as someone who's incapable of communicating in English wherever I go. I remember feeling this utter hopelessness and confusion during my first week in the UK. While everyone gathered in crowds, raving about the summer holiday, the amazing summer holidays they had had, I was a little different. It would take every ounce of courage I had to initiate a conversation and by the time that I finally managed to gather myself to speak the first word, the person I wanted to speak to was no longer there. <laughs> I remember spending low, uh, so many mornings rehearsing scenarios I knew would never happen, but regardless of the futility, I did it from waking up until class bell. There I was, feeling completely lonely and out of place at a foreign country, attempting to establish new connections, new relationships with my broken English and keeping failing to do so. I, I had never realised that talking and making friends could be this difficult before that. Consequently, I tied myself in knots, worrying about not fully understanding what was going on on a daily basis, until someone finally reached out to me. I can clearly recall what she said to me on that day. She asked me, are you okay? After telling her that I was all wound up and feeling overwhelmed, of course in my broken English, at that time, don't know how she managed to understand me. <laughs> she said, um, she said, talk to me, I will listen and take your time. All of a sudden, I felt that I wasn't alone, I wasn't that lonely anymore. 
I felt so acknowledged by her words, despite the fact that it was probably one of the simplest sentences you could possibly say. Um, wow. I never knew that words could have so much power. It was at that moment when I realized how important kindness is and how it can really brighten up your day and bring people together. So next time, maybe when you see someone sitting in the corner by themselves, go and ask them if they would like to join you for the conversation. Maybe next time when you see an international student looking baffled and lost. Go and ask them if they are okay. And speaking from experience, I know that these small acts of kindness would mean everything, absolutely everything, to them. Everyone is affected by an act of kindness. Kindness is contagious, and you never know just how big an impact it might have on people. It does genuinely make a difference. Right, thank you so much. That's the end of it. Thank you so much for listening, and I really hope by making this video and talking about this feeling of anxiety generated by speaking a foreign language, those who are not very familiar with it can gain somewhat of an understanding of what it can feel like. Secondly, I hope that those. Who are struggling with the same problem can hopefully feel less alone and understood. And please trust me when I say that you are never by yourself. You are never alone. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>